Now that you're into the last couple of practices, are you happy what you saw progression-wise from, from the defense? From Absolutely. The guys uh, have really uh, picked up everything uh, very nicely. Uh, they understand what we expect out of them uh, on uh, Monday night. So, yeah, very, very pleased. Health-wise, guys like Stanford, uh, Josh, you feel good about their availability? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to their uh, contribution on Monday. Really, really uh, had uh, good camps and uh, – yeah, they're excited. We're excited. So looking forward to them going out there contributing big time. How's Hampson done in that Zeus role? He's done a really nice job. You know, we, uh, and, and our safeties play left and right. We make them good at both, you know, the Zeus and the boundary safety. And uh, he's done a really nice job. He's really uh, progressed uh, in, in uh, this offseason and, and as well in on camp. And he's doing a really, really good job. Really good job. As far as Josh Jackson's concerned, what kind of – pressure does he put on a defense? Well, first of all, he has experience coming back. He's cool under pressure. Um, he understands uh, the offense extremely well. And I think, you know, the, the more you're in the offense and the more experience you have, uh, the more comfortable not only as the player, but the coaches are with the player being able to make adjustments and things like that. So uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a really good quarterback. He's a guy that we got to, you know, get after and, uh, and understand that he, he, he's cool. He's cool. He's not going to, you know, crack under pressure. He's seen he's been in a lot of tough situations. So uh, we look forward to the challenge. How do you balance um, the desire to be aggressive and fast with their misdirection and things like that? Well, we, we've been constantly talking to our guys about their, their, their eye discipline, eye control. Um, when you do that, you can still play fast. That's part of playing fast by looking at the right stuff. Everybody do their job. Um, if all 11 execute, we give ourselves a chance to win on every play. So uh, everybody has a job to do. Do your job, and we'll be fine. Can you talk about the orders at Sam and, you know, with Adonis and Dupree there? Say that again. I'm sorry. Can you talk about the orders, the depth chart with oh, Sam? Okay, at, at Sam. Oh, yeah, it's just, Okay, okay, okay. So you're saying Sam, we, we call him Star Mike, <laughs> call him Star, uh, Star Mike and Money is what we okay. call him. Okay, you, okay. Um, it's just those guys have really battled, and uh, and 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 so they're both going to play a lot. That's what that means. That there is no set position there because, you know, fair is fair. We say best players are going to play, and both those guys have played fairly equal. They play fairly equally, and so, hey, give them all a chance to play, and we'll see out throughout the course of the season if guys can separate themselves or it stays the same. We'll see. Best players play. Do you, do you see a lot of that early in the season, especially with this new staff and these players giving a lot of guys chances early in the season? Absolutely, and, and it helps us stay fresh throughout the season. So, uh, you know, it's not a bad thing to be able to do that. Um, you, you're keeping guys fresh for a long season, and, you know, those guys are steady competing. And you like to see those guys step up as competitors saying, hey, I want to be the guy. No, I want to be the guy. And if it's still like that, hey, more power to them, especially if we're playing well, when we're playing well. So look forward to it. Best players play. Coach, I have, how has the separation been, uh, preparation been for two games next week? Well, it's, we've been focused on Vitek, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, in the summertime, we were able to, to devote some time uh, to the next game. But, you know, all our focus this summer has been, since we started camp, has been focused on Vitek. So uh, we'll get to the next game as it comes, and that's just how it is. We don't make the schedule. we got to play the schedule, and uh, we'll make it happen. I've heard head coaches talk about the idea of, you know, you have camp and practices, but you never really know what you have and what things are going to look like until the game starts. Does it feel that way as a coordinator too? Um, yeah, at, the way, it, at times, it, it gets to every year during camp, you get to a point where you get tired of beating on each other and hitting on each other. And so, um, yes, it comes to time, like, let's see how we really are. You, don't, you just don't know. Nobody really knows. And so uh, really looking forward to, to Monday night. Got a good feel for it, but we won't really know until then. Are the guys at that point? I mean, are they, you can tell that they're tired of hitting against each other and they're ready to get out and see somebody else? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can tell they're, they're locking in on Vitek and, and uh, not so much focused on what our offense likes to do and all that kind of stuff, our scrimmages and things like that. So we're locked in on the season starting. Uh, they're excited. We're excited. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to putting on a, a great show on Monday night. What, what allows a guy like Jaden to, to have the success as a true freshman getting started? His attention to detail. Um, his, his, his due diligence uh, and, and his hard work. That's who he is. He loves the, loves the game of football. He's always studying it every day. Off season, in season, he's studying football and, and how to get better. And so he, he's, you know, 
he's a self-made man in that way as far as you know how, how diligent and attention to detail he is and everything that he does so uh, really happy for him excited for him and uh, he's put himself in a great position to, to succeed. How long, did it take you, how long did it take you to realize when Jaden arrived that he's someone that had the ability to handle the rigors playing at the tree press team? Uh, once we got through, really got into into spring uh, spring ball. That's when you really knew. I mean, it's a bunch. We were doing the chase and, and, and conditioning. Saw saw what his work ethic was back then. But once we got into spring ball, saw he was picking things up and how physical he was and how he loved to play the game on an everyday basis. And then this off season, you saw him, you know, coming up to the offices all the time, trying to get better and learn the defense. You knew we had something special. All right, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a great day.